Hi, my dear Geminis. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the Lucy the Antigua Tarot. My name is Lucy, and I'm happy that you're visiting me. And I do have your readings for the month of May 2016. So let's take a look at it. All right, my dear Geminis. And then here's your nine card spread. And I will say that the center card, this card here in the middle, is you guys. This is your energy. This is your center, and all the other cards that come around you are definitely related to what's going on here. And they're related with each other, too. We will make those connections. Okay, so you have two major arcanas. You have the hangman. Okay, el colgado. This is a, a Rider Waite Smith deck that I bought when I was visiting family and friends in Guatemala. And I found this deck and I loved it because it had the titles in Spanish for all the major arcanas and the court cards. So I thought that was kind of cool. So this is the hangman, el colgado. So that's one major arcana that you have. And then you also have the magician, el mago, el mago, the magician. Okay, so you have two major arcanas. You have one court card, which is la reina de oros, the queen of pentacles. La Reina de Oros. And then you also have, okay, so then you have one cups, which is the seven of cups. Okay, and then you have one, two, three wands, the eight of wands, the six of wands, and the nine of wands down here. Okay, let me just pull these up a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, and then you have Page of Swords, El Sota de Espadas, in your center, and then here you have the Nine of Swords. All right, and those are the cards you have for this month. So, let's get started with the Page of Swords. Um, pages are usually young people, or it can be a young energy. So this is this card is saying it's talking about being overconfident. Uh promising to do something and then realizing that you can't. So it's it's reminding you to be honest with your with your um with the important people that are around you. Be honest with them. Whoever they may be, they're important. It could be your boss. It could be a partner, it could be both, you know, it's just partner in um, in love, partner in a project, okay? Uh, make sure they understand what you can and can't do, okay? Don't overpromise yourself. Be honest with yourself and be honest with others. And that's at your center, my dear Geminis. Okay, the energy that's coming in is the Seven of Cups. yeah and this is this card is uh as you can see um this person who's in the shadows he's dark we can't see his face but he's looking at these choices these cups and they're all filled with different things so this this is about choices and decisions and what it's telling you this is the energy that's coming in and what it's telling you is that uh, to narrow your options don't look at too many options because the longer you do that, okay, the longer you're over there looking at all your options and you have all these options, and the longer you do that, um, the longer it's going to take you to make a decision. So it's, it's advising you to look at what's in front of you, be realistic, uh, and be more precise. You know, so like if you narrow down your options, it'll help you to be more precise. Okay, and then you have the uh, Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is the waiting card. With that card, what it's telling you is that you have to wait. It's a waiting energy. The Eight of Wands, yes. Be patient just a little bit longer 
okay don't forget that uh, don't for don't force things to happen don't forget please don't force things to happen take a step back and go with the flow that's basically what this card is telling you all right and it's like crowning your center overconfident you know when you're overconfident you kind of act too quickly instead of stepping stepping back and thinking carefully so that's what this is saying stay take a step back and no don't force things kind of go with the flow and it kind of goes with your hangman right the hangman is um being in a temporary state of stillness you have some choices to make that are important. You have to be patient. Don't go too fast. And don't be overconfident. Be realistic. So take some time off to kind of hang. Be a bit more adaptive to the changes. Because whatever step you take next, it's going to be a com it's going to create a complete change for you so take your time with it there's no rush sometimes you know when we have this energy you know we're just like just jumping into it and you have these cards that are telling you to to uh, take it easy go with the flow and this card is also saying that someone completely new will come into your life or maybe it'll be a new job or something something completely new is going to enter the next step you take is going to change everything so it is a good card but it is about reflection not rushing not moving fast into a decision and also um, it's okay change is progressive change equals progress so you know that is what's crowning you guys for this month this is the energy that's coming in and then here in the center okay we have the magician on one side and we have the six of wands on the other side okay and the magician's following your hangman and the magician is the number one card so this is where ideas are born Ideas are born and we have access or you or there is access to these energies that Tarot the Tarot talks about, the pentacles, the cups, the wands and the swords. You are able to manipulate those things, those energies to create in the material world what you want to create with your ideas. So this card is all about making the impossible become possible. It's a great card. El Mago, yes. The impossible become possible. If you have been thinking about that, um, you know, new job or buying a new car or starting a new project or something new, something that's a big deal, this card is telling you that you can definitely, definitely achieve it. Okay, and it's really cool because here it's telling you change is good changes progress all right um take your time don't be overconfident and be honest be honest with yourself and those people that are close to you that you love and also here narrow down your choices you have like all these you're thinking about all this stuff and just kind of like narrow it down or maybe you have all these things and you're just trying to figure out i mean all of this stuff are, are possibilities but there's too many you might have too many so you need to narrow it down so but whatever it is that you decide to do it you definitely are going to achieve it and the thing is that it's probably going to come in suddenly poof out of the blue yes yes go for it suddenly it will be staring you in the face it can be love, it can be money, it can be, you know, whatever project you decide to, to embark in. Okay. Um, good things happening. 
and you're not even expecting them, right? You're not you're not expecting them. You're just thinking, okay. So it's you know this this is a, this is going to be unexpected stuff coming in, or people, okay. So this is a really good time for you to um, to do some um, to you know focus on your tune into your spiritual energies, especially your intuition. Your intuition is going to really help you with this also. These uh, variety of choices and narrowing that down. So this is what you have hand in hand with your center, and on the other side you have the six of wands. So the Six of Wands is um, it is a positive omen, okay? So you've got some uh, magician, mm, the Queen of Pentacles. You know, you've got one, two, three, four really positive cards, which is very very good. So you are it you are about to do the most difficult part of a job or a relationship. This could be happening. This card, that's what this card means also. But um, you will get to the other side. Okay, you're going to get to the other side. And um, you're going to learn a lot of lessons from that experience throughout this journey that you're going to be embarking on. General reading, guys, remember. But this is what this card is saying. Also, if you have just finished a challenge, if you, you have just completed a major thing, it's telling you to take a step back, okay, and get some rest. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of cards that are telling you to take a step back, take a break, take it easy, okay? Because you've got this energy here. It's like... You know, it could be a nervous energy. It's a sword. You know, it's fast. And uh, overconfident. Think it knows everything. You know, you need to just calm down. And that is at your center. Now, here at the foundation, at the base of your reading, you have these great cards. You have the Queen of Pentacles. And then you have the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands. You have two Nines, Nine Nine and the Queen. So the Queen of Pentacles is about nesting, settling down, getting comfortable in your home, time to get your personal stuff out. You are at home now. So redecorate. So maybe you guys have been kind of like not really at home, feeling at home lately. Maybe that's what... One of these choices is up here. It could be maybe relating to that, that you're considering leaving and finally getting your own place. Okay, regarding work, all is well. Personalize your workspace. Setting up home with someone. Reaching the step of commitment with someone. Okay, maybe you're considering making that, that big move. Regarding finances, this card is telling you to put your roots down and get settled. It's about commitment and security. And that is the Queen of Pentacles. And you have her under your magician, under the choices that you have to make up here. She's totally related to everything that's going on because it could be, you know, something's going on. There might be a move happening. And then you have the, the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords basically is telling you guys, my dear Geminis, to be cautious. You are feeling anxious about a situation and you might be blaming others. So if you find yourself in a strange situation, in a kind of scary situation, and then this card is telling you to ask yourself, how did I get here? What, did I, what was I thinking? What did I do that got me to this? situation that I don't like and it's telling you to just learn your lessons from it don't blame other people okay just learn your lessons from it and then move on 
slow down and don't stress out about it also you know you're going too fast and this is like at the base the foundation of your you know page of swords so it's also telling you to slow down don't stress about it because you're kind of thinking about it too much whatever that thing may be because this is a general reading I don't know details all right, and finally, leaving your reading, my dear Gemini's, you have the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands basically says that things are getting a little bit complicated. So to take a deep breath and calm down. Again, step back, calm down, slow down, get still. You know, and not only in the body, but in the mind. That's what the tarot is telling you. Because if you slow down and if you calm, calm down and if you kind of be still and meditate, take some breath, do some breathing, you might notice that things aren't as complicated as this as they seem. In the moment, things can seem complicated, and we get stressed, and we you know want to rush, and so it's telling you not to do that. Things might be intense, so just in general at work, maybe. So it's just telling you to be aware, be aware and be informed. Again, be informed. Several cards have told you guys that already too, my dear Geminis. So that is your reading for the month of May. Gosh, I hope if this resonates to you, for you, I mean... I hope that things work out for you. I hope that you can balance these energies in a way that are the best for you. Okay, so there's your reading, my dear Geminis. Um, it was a pleasure doing this reading for you. I hope that it helps you in some way. Even if everything doesn't resonate, the cards always have some great um, advice, in my opinion. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful month of May next to people that you love, um, children and grandparents and music and good food out in the country, picnics on a Sunday afternoon, because May is a nice month to do that sort of thing. I also wish you, all of you peace. And uh, until June, we'll see you. Bye.